Animal crackers fly the coop. Executed. Get that? Executed by Kevin O'Malley. And this is a story that is based on an old fairy tale folk tale called The Bremen Town Musician. So if you haven't ever read that story, go and find a copy and read it. This book has a lot of puns and a lot of jokes in it. So if you like that, you will enjoy it. And these are the very creative end papers. Our chicken says, what was the name of the very intelligent monster? Cat says, Frank Einstein. Get it? Frank, like Frankenstein, and Einstein, who was very intelligent. And our dog says, what do cows do for entertainment? And the cow says, they rent movies. Animal crackers fly the coop. Hen loved to tell jokes. Jokes like, why did the chicken go to the library? To check out a bok, bok, bok. And how do comedians like their eggs? Funny side up. Then dreamed of standing on a stage in a comedy club and cracking up the crowd. She simply had to be a comedy hen. The farmer wanted her to lay eggs, but hen was just too tired of working for chicken feed. Being a egg layer wasn't all it was cracked up to be. So you won't lay eggs, huh? Asked the farmer, using foul language. Well, come this Friday, you'll make a fine chicken dinner. That night, Hen talked to the other chickens. Where do chickens have the most feathers? Asked Hen. I don't know, said a chicken. On the outside, she said, and I plan on keeping it that way. So that night, Hen flew the coop and headed across the field. Early the next morning, Hen saw a dog chasing its own tail. What are you doing, dog? she asked. I'm trying to make ends meet, he said. Would you please tell me your sad tail? asked Hen. My sad tail can't talk, but I can tell you my story, said dog. One night I was doing a comedy show for the sheep, and a wolf stole a side of beef from the smokehouse. Dog gone it, dog, you're all bark and no bite, the farmer said. He was so mad, I figured I would better hightail it out of there. Hen told Dog about her dream to open a comedy club and asked him to join her. Dog wagged his tail. Why do dogs wag their tails? Because no one will do it for them. Dog and Hen were walking down the dusty road when they passed an old shed. A fat cat was lying on a wall. Mice were jumping all around him. You don't see that every day, said Hen. Clearly that cat isn't any good at claw enforcement. So cat, can you hiss and tell your story to us? Asked Dog. I want to be a performer, but my master didn't like my caterwauling. I sing funny songs like, have yourself a furry little Christmas and silent mice. The farmer told me he'd throw me in the river, so I left. Hen and Dog told the cat about their idea for a comedy nightclub. It didn't take much persuasion to get the cat to go with them. I saw Mommy hiss at Santa Claus. Several hours later, the three comedians came to a pasture, and standing outside the fence was a cow. You look utterly miserable, said Dog. If that cow were a musical note, she'd be a B-flat. A B-flat, Cat said to Hen. We heard there was a problem, said Hen. No use crying over spilled milk. Let's see if we can help you fix it. I'm in a real stew. Last night the farmer said he was going to sell me to the butcher said cow. See, I completely forgot about making milk. All I do is think about jokes. I guess you'd say I have milk of amnesia. So I snuck out of the barn and now I'm 
calculating what my next move should be. Hen, dog, and cat told her of their plan for a comedy nightclub and invited her to join them. Cow said yes and rang her bell. Why did you ring your bell? Because my horns don't work. The four comedians walked and walked. They were getting tired and hungry. And finally they passed an old house and looked inside. Sitting in the kitchen were three robbers. The leader said, Don't eat all the food right now. We'll be hungry when we get back from robbing the bank. The four comedians hid in the bushes and watched the robbers leave. As quickly as they could, they ran into the house and ate every last bit of food they could find. What did the mother ghost tell the baby ghost when he ate too fast? asked Dog. Stop gobbling your food, said Hen. Why did the student cat eat his homework? asked Cat. The teacher told him it was a piece of cake, said Cow. Tired and happy, the four comedians lay down and fell asleep. Around midnight, the robbers returned to the house. When the first robber stepped inside, he tripped on Cow. The second robber tripped on the first, and the third robber tripped on the second. The four comedians awoke with a start. They did the only thing they could think of. They told jokes. Cow asked, Why does a milking stool have only three legs? Because the cow has the udder. <laughs> but the robbers just saw two horns and heard, Moo! 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 Dog said, my master asked me why I go into a corner when I hear a bell. I said, because I'm a boxer. But the robbers saw only sharp teeth and heard, rawr, woof, rawr, woof. Cat sang, over the counter and into my mouth, the tasty mouse will go. But the robbers felt only sharp claws and heard, me. And of course, Chicken woke up and said, The farmer I worked for were so dumb, he plowed his field with a steamroller because he wanted mashed potatoes. The robbers just felt her sharp beak and heard, Bop, 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 bop. The robbers got so scared, they ran off and never came back. Now the four comedians have a comedy club. It's called Cow, Dog, Kit, Hen. Animals come from far and wide. The comedians do two shows a night. And just like Hen dreamed, they crack them up. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? He didn't have the guts. What do you call a boomerang that doesn't work? A stick. What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese.